this video should be the last video. The official last video. It is about the core proofs that the world is hopelessly evil, aka what has to be said the most. I will point to the key reasons on the top martial artist playlist in the videos leading up to this one about transferable skills and martial art principles. Really kind of basic ideas that people should master in life and not breed away from like they have been doing. Some judgments have to be passed and it is a matter of principle to obey God through me no matter what. This needs to be understood first and foremost by the opposition view who is everyone else in the world. It is a matter of principle to obey God through me no matter what. Everyone else is like someone who has raped your daughter who is working with a major with a large group of people to get you to force your daughter to marry them. Obviously, it is a matter of principle that no matter what, she is not to marry him. No matter what, you are not to try to connect to God by yourself, but rather to obey God through me. Because you are unworthy, you are all complicit with crimes against humanity. Okay, you're complicit with it. It doesn't take a genius. The person of average intelligence should right away work the angles and understand why that is. That to be part of a culture and to not move away from it. And I'll use the example of Sodom and Gomorrah in the Bible. Okay? To be part of a culture and not move away from it makes one complicit. I shouldn't have to finish these statements. I shouldn't have to elaborate more than I have already. Lot said to God, if I find this many people who are innocent, will you spare the city? And he kept lowering the number. There wasn't one person found, other than myself, who was a worthy vessel to connect to God. Not a single person. They were all complicit with crimes against humanity. It starts with restoring the divine order. An idea I understood since I was 12, 13 years old, making the argument that the Catholic Church was not, did not put an Igbo in the position of the Pope. Why didn't they do that? Where, where is their fruits and their works? All they have is a group consensus of a bunch of people who don't have works themselves. They are not martyrs. They are not people who hone their senses in terms of God. They are simply conformists in the church. The true message of the Bible includes transcendence. They did not demonstrate transcendence, nor willingness to suffer to the extreme for God. The Igbos have. However, unfortunately, all the ones who have but me have been screened out. Again, I tell you, it is a matter of principle to get, obey God through me, no matter what. They try to play me out like I'm gay, okay? When I'm not gay, homosexuality comes from, uh, in this modern form, comes from Europe. There's a long history of that. There's an overwhelming abundance of evidence to that effect. It is the Greek societies in college. They do all kinds of weird gay activities and gay energy. It is painfully obvious. Nobody of average intelligence or otherwise misses that this is a Western thing and they're trying to stigmatize black people uh, whose nations include the people who are the most adverse to homosexuality. Incidentally, our, uh, Nigeria is one. Okay, it's sad that I have to point out all these things before even starting my video. One thing that unfortunately I have to point out, being mixed with white, is that nobody is a valid martial artist who doesn't obey me and after I die, nobody is qualified to be a master. Heros means master, ironically, in, uh, root, as a root uh, word for the word hera, a hero. No one is a hero. No one is from a bloodline of a hero. They are all cheating the hero out of his right to lead. So nobody is qualified to be a martial artist after I die. But unfortunately, certain groups of people have gone the distance to pretend that they are superior, mind, body, uh, and soul, and spirit, and that they have shown a despicable tendency to insist that their groups are first, and they are white-skinned people. So unfortunately, this has to be pointed out, that these people are the most unqualified to be martial artists. You see why this judgment has to be made? I shouldn't have to explain any more. You should see where I'm going with this. This is not being the top martial artist, being a brain surgeon or a brain surgeon's son who's the top martial artist who's the son of two doctors. This is not being that. You should know right away why that has to be done. These people have gone the distance, and they are persistent, okay? These are the biggest criminals of all as a group, and you have to separate yourself from that group. No one who was in Sodom or Gomorrah when it was destroyed has separated themselves. If you know they're guilty, separate yourself culturally, spiritually from these people. Why didn't you do this? 
Why did you insist on Western supremacy, white supremacy? Why are you social norm fanatics? Why didn't you separate yourself from those social norms whose core is evil? Neo-colonialist, globalist, it's all Western, 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 Western. Even Israel is a bunch of people who first went through Europe and identify with Western white social norms before they went back to Israel. Why can't you see these obvious commonalities? Why don't you separate yourself from this core pirate corporate culture? This trickle down Western culture. Regardless if you've always, white people have always been that or they became that after they suck a corporate dick. Why didn't you separate yourself from them? Because of your proximity to them. Because of your insistence on being like them. And because of your despicable inability to give me a place to go other than my parents' house so they can interrupt me in my videos and spray me with all kinds of things on your behalf. You must be ruled, not just out, the fuck out. I'm talking about you are ruled out times infinity. And if by the time I'm done with this video, you are not ashamed of yourselves, certainly you are far less than human than I thought. Even the Bible describes the beasts as brutes. Is it not your culture to think in terms of brute force and fighting instead of a moral cause? So let's look at the core proofs that the world is hopelessly evil, a.k.a. what has to be said the most. John 16, 7 through 11 proves my point. 1 John 2, 15 proves my point. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. Who embodies the world more than these people and their cultures? Do they not dominate the world? How can you pretend that the groups of people who dominate the world are not the most worldly? How can you not even be that honest with yourselves? How can you not see how unworthy you are? Is it enough to separate yourself from the white core to the token minority direction, like the cultures that are allowed in America? Is that enough? Of course not. No servant can be greater. When you go with the token minorities and pretend to defy the mainstream core white culture, are you not more guilty because you've added trickery and confusion to the problem? How can you not see it this way? How can you not see that there's no path to be honorable other than to obey God through me? I'm the only one who's transcended and does the right thing. The rest of you are of this world. In a predominantly Christian culture where you have no viable counter-argument, where 1 John 2.15 says, do not love the world or anything in it. And there's all sorts of scriptures that says, God hates the wicked. Psalm 26 goes on to say, uh, 4. I do not sit with the deceitful, nor do I associate with hypocrites. In a culture where you have no viable counter-argument to white denial, for the reasons I've explored in this video alone, which is like the tip of the iceberg, perhaps the most important part of the iceberg, but nonetheless, there are countless proofs that you are in denial. You are torturing the most righteous man in your most famous nation, and you are in denial about it in the most populated state. There's an abundance of evidence. If you don't get that, watch this again. And right now I'm being fumed till my eyesight is blurry so they can pretend that I'm blind. Just like those who accused David when he was going to capture the city of David, which became Zion, they were going to accuse him of being lame and blind. You are lame and blind. You put your heads together as groups in the country with the most martial artist schools in the world, a multicultural nation. And you couldn't find a single person to beat me while you were pestering me with hundreds, if not thousands, really thousands, perhaps tens of thousands of people, many of them martial artists representing their schools one way or another. You were pestering me with these people, with 19 witnesses, trying to make me look gay, hacking my phone, causing me to have typos. One common one was when I put last top martial arts, they would put lady top martial arts. This is the bitch shit that they resort to. They provoke me. They have my own family harass them on their behalf while they bring up my dead grandmother, the queen of queens, the most noble woman in the world of her generation. And they talk about how they would skull fuck her and things like this when she died by hitting her head on the ground after I talked about how psych meds cause older people to fall down and hit their head. That was their way of saying that they killed her with plausible deniability. Certainly everyone involved deserves to be tortured to death, their entire families wiped out. Done. I don't care what they've done. They're outside the divine order and they're associated with you, execute them. They are cut off from heaven. Come to me gro groveling on your knees like the dogs you are and I will consider changing my mind. The bread is for the children, not the dogs who persecute my family. 
Come, 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 come wriggling like a snake, like you had me do with the police department in Morgan Hill. And I'll consider changing my mind. They're all done as well. Come to me on the ground like snakes. Let me record you saying you are the snakes. And I will consider changing my mind. Your pride is the boundary, so it must be surgically removed. And I know how to do it, not you. You don't have the courage to obey God with honesty and purity. You are dogs. The fact that you can't even admit that shows that you are less than human. Four family members of mine have been killed. Certainly the entire world deserves to be executed as they stood by and did nothing. When I'm the wisest and the best, I'm the last way for them to connect to God. They don't care about their family. They take a worm direction toward the earth instead of obeying God. And see how long it took me to, to just explain this first part leading. I haven't even touched on the video. I don't have a time to go over. I'm going to have to make another video now. Where I'm going to talk about good sanity, obviously martial arts and true spirituality ending with me because of breeding. All the martial art principles prove my point is the part of the first kind of key point, core point. The second point I will talk about is it is painfully obvious with so much evidence that other males aren't worthy mates or dates and all females are supposed to have the discernment to naturally choose me. King Solomon prayed to God for discernment. Jesus said even Solomon in all his glory. He said he is the root and offspring of uh, David and so was Solomon before he went astray. And went astray because of women and they lacked discernment. And they led him to worship the detestable deities like Moloch, scum like Baal, Chemosh, filth, garbage, cowards' ideas of how to feel important, despicable names. It is accurate that the Alpha Cure is eight after I die. It is obvious that Obi, meaning King, Heart, Hut, Temple, Ensis, Soul of a Nation, vies as the Alpha, not the Moon Temple, or the people who go out of their way to look like the Moon Temple. It is obvious. Con. They are the con artists. They are the con man with their con plan. The con tribe. You set, which is T's backward, T-E-S backwards. Con tribe. You. I'm talking about you, set. I'm talking about you, the moon temple. The prince of darkness isn't the sun that rises in the morning. Uh, Malachi 4. Uh, um, what is it? Psalms. It's one of these psalms where it talks about the sun as the bridegroom. It is you, the prince of darkness, not the, the, the wife of Joseph from the, the group of people who studied where God overlaps with the sun, where God overlaps with the movement of the sun, the spiritual source of the sun. You stand condemned first and foremost. And yes, God despises the thought that you would even begin to begin to ask to connect to him after what you have done after how shamefully you have tortured me and my family and executed four of those members. Certainly your whole families deserve to be executed. Your cowardice is so despicable. Certainly I'd be a fool not to say this. Proverbs 1, excuse me, 119, 100. I have more understanding than the elders, for I obey the precepts. You don't. Who are you to question my judgment? You don't even obey God. You are dogs that cannot, aren't even human enough to obey God. And the only way to obey God, as I've proven masterfully time and time again, is to obey God through me. It is a matter of principle to obey God through me, no matter what. When Jesus was on the cross, you say, we're not going to listen to you anymore because you've been sabotaged and put on the cross. They fed you vinegar. We're not going to listen. That's a bitch move. That's a moon temple bitch move. Proverbs 28, 23. Whoever rebukes a person will in the end gain favor rather than the one who, who has a flattering tongue. Proverbs 10, 18. Whoever concealed hatred with lying lips and spread slander is a fool. I would be a fool, according to your own book in a predominantly Christian culture, where white people themselves were instrumental in spreading this half-truth book. Bible by Bell, Biblos, the Lady of Biblos, Balat, Baal and Balat. Half-truths. It must be extracted by someone with heart, not the betas like you betas scramble this beast. I hold these truths to be self-evident. That I don't need the word play to know that beta scrambled his beast. The Lord thy God is a warrior. What's the opposite of warrior? It's a beta who insists on being in charge. That's the Antichrist spirit, you fools. And who is guilty along with him is the conservative Western brute who insists that he's not a beta when he's a gay beta's puppy dog, lap dog, muscle. He's part of the body of the beta as the knucklehead brute. We hold these truths to be self-evident, those of us with heart all throughout history. Why don't you?